Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 50th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out some uh, commands for MySQL and uh, in this tutorial we're going to check out how we can create a database in MySQL. Now uh, I thought about you know having a full-fledged uh, series on MySQL uh, you know as a part of this course but then I already have uh, a bunch of tutorials on SQL and I have covered you know all fundamentals of uh, you know, creating databases and then managing databases, creating tables and, you know, working with the rows and columns and data. So, you know, I've got a very comprehensive uh, series of tutorials on SQL. So I'm not going to spend too much time on uh, discussing SQL in this course. I'm going to, you know, show you some basic stuff. So in case you don't want to check out that series and you just want to continue with this course, you know, you won't have any problem if you don't uh, check out, uh, you know, the other course on SQL. But I would highly recommend you to you know, have uh, a good understanding of, you know, how databases uh, are created and, you know, how tables are created and how tables could be used together to, you know, do some fancy stuff. So uh, just check out that uh, series. And if you think that, you know, you already know uh, sufficient SQL, then you can probably proceed. So, you know, the software that I am going to use to show you the MySQL commands that we're going to discuss is going to be MySQL Workbench. And it's uh, not necessary for you to have this software. You know, if you don't have this, then you could also, you know, just uh, type in localhost in your uh, browser and uh, go to PHP My Admin. So when you type in localhost, you would see the VAM server menu. You would scroll down to see a tool called PHP My Admin. And when you click on it, you know, you might be asked to type in your password. You know, I've just disabled that so, you know, I don't have to type in the password every time. So this is what, uh, you know, PHP MyAdmin is and it's one of the most popular uh, software to manage uh, MySQL databases. And uh, in this software, you know, you might want to go to the uh, tab for SQL. So, you know, when you go here, you can type in your queries. But, you know, I prefer, uh, you know, using MySQL Workbench and this is a free software. So you could go to MySQL website and you know just download the software and a couple of other uh, interesting plugins uh, for mysql you know particularly the plugin mysql for excel and we're gonna, go, we're gonna talk about that maybe in a couple of tutorials so you know anyway the command that you use to create databases in uh, mysql is create database right so in this uh, window here you know the text editor uh, portion that you see i'm going to type in create database and uh, then I'll give a space and type in a name for my database. So let's say I want I want to call the database student. So I, I'll type in student here and uh, I'll put in a semicolon at the end because this is what you do to terminate all SQL statements. And uh, then I'll press control and enter, right? So that's the key combination that you use to execute queries in MySQL Workbench. And when I do that, in the output section here, I see the message, uh, you know, create database student. I see this green check mark, which, uh, you know, tells me that the query was executed successfully. And I also see a message that, you know, one row was affected. And in here, you know, I uh, see all the schemas or the databases that I have, you know, with this connection. So, you know, if I would uh, click on the refresh button here, you know, I would see student appear in the list. So this is how you create databases. And then in this database, you can have multiple tables. You could also have views. You can, you know, you can have all the data that you want to store. And uh, let's say, you know, you want to delete this database with all the contents you want, you know, you want to just completely get rid of it. The command that you use to, you know, do that is drop database. And, uh, you know, I'll type in drop database and then the name of the database, which is student, put a semicolon at the end. When I press control enter, Again, in the output section, I see the message, you know, student, student database was uh, removed. And uh, if I would refresh the, uh, you know, schema, I would see that, um, you know, it's no longer there, right? So that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll discuss uh, some more important MySQL commands. And uh, I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this one. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.